The ski industry's had a tough go of things in the last few years, I think there's no secret of that. You know, when I was thinking of a new ski sponsor for myself, I'm not your typical free skier. I'm a bigger guy, weigh like 190 pounds, I'm 6'2", um, and I want a really well-built, solid ski under my foot. If I was to choose any company in the ski industry right now that fits that mold for me, it would be Vocal. I think Vocal has always been known for making a super quality, solid ski, and uh, it definitely shows in the skis. I mean, they're burly, they're strong, they're well built. It's the perfect kind of ski for someone like myself. This year I've been skiing on a couple different uh, sets of skis, one being the Katana. Uh, I've done most of my filming on that ski. It's just a super solid ski that has a little bit of rocker to it, uh, just enough to, to feel really good in the turn but not too much that I'm back slapping everything because it's fully rockered out. They're stiff and solid so it's the kind of perfect ski for me for filming and then when I'm, uh, when I'm out just having a wicked time on a pow day I've been loving the Kuros because they're just a fully rockered wicked designed ski that's super fat and uh, they can make any little bit of pow seem like the most fun day ever and uh, I've been having a, a ton of fun on those as well. So I've been on the marker Jester binding, and uh, you know in the past I've always skied on a like full metal, really heavy binding, and I thought that's what I needed. And the Jester's kind of like the perfect in between. It's so well built. If you're looking for a lightweight binding that doesn't sacrifice performance or strength and allows your ski to perform the way you want it to, uh, the Jester is the best binding for the job. To a skier, there's nothing more important than your skis. Um, and to do what I do, I want, you know, I'm very particular. I need to be on a certain type of platform. I need a solid, burly ski under my foot that's well built. But I don't want, you know, just a plank. I want something that's going to perform just as well as any other ski on the market. And uh, Vocal's Free Ride Collection, they all have a little bit of rocker, and it's it's really fun because they're rockered, but they're solid. And uh, it's so important to me to be able to have a solid ski under my foot or else, you know, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. And when you're standing on a big line, ready to drop in, the last thing you want to be thinking about is, are these skis going to perform the way I want them to when I'm skiing this? Am I going to be able to pull this off with these skis under my foot? You know, I'd rather be on top of a line and not even thinking about, like, are my skis going to perform for me just knowing they are and having full faith in the platform that's under your foot? I mean, I've landed on boulders on those things this year and they wouldn't even break. Um, so that's the kind of ski for me. I'm notoriously hard on my equipment and uh, in the past I used to break skis all the time and uh, I haven't broke a single set of vocals this year and God knows I've tried.